Hey guys, Todd from Great Danes World. Yes, the truck. God, I'm so glad to have the truck back. We are still having a problem out the shifter. We got to go to the factory or either a place called, do I say it over there? Uh, I, I guess, pool place where you go get parts. Uh, Cause it don't seem to want to go in the right gears all the time. Brought Codell to a new, new location. And this is a little bit further down than where we usually go. So I'm going to take you for a little walk here and let you see how calm it is out here. Now this is great. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to tell you, when I was a kid, I was nine years old, and literally that branch up there at the very, if you can see kind of where my finger is pointing at right there we had a swing and it literally would throw you out in the middle of the lake it was unbelievable well it's not the lake the river come on buddy i can see some folks been down here fishing we really don't have too much to say today other than that we're just blessed and grateful that we got our truck back grateful that we got up this morning and grateful that claudel is Happy, healthy, and loves life. What you doing, buddy? You gonna get down on it? Now, he's he's gonna test the water a little bit. I apologize for the sun, but you can, of course, look down there, our paradise there. And if I go back the other way, maybe you can see the rapids. We are usually play on that side, but there's too many people out there. But... To go ahead and let you know what our next blog is going to be coming up this month. It's going to be about toys for your Great Dane. Uh, I have seen some horrible pictures. If you don't think your Great Dane can swallow a tennis ball, if you don't think your Great Dane can swallow a tin Coke can, if you do not think your Great Dane can swallow a sock and even a shirt, you are sadly mistaken. And depending on how the animal is, the vet's going to tell you I can take it out. Or the dog's too old, it might not make it. But what really bothers me are these little squeaky toys that people go buy. They just go buy a regular teddy bear with a squeaky toy, and within 15 minutes, they got the toy in their mouth. And I will say this until the day I pass. One of the best toys I have ever found that I've had for eight or nine years is a nylon duck with a nylon beak and it has a tug of war rope for a tail. He has pulled and pulled and chewed and the only thing that he's ever been able to get off that was half the beak. And the squeaky toy still works. Those are the kind of toys you need. Now those are on my website, it's under recommended products. If you'd like to check them out, I think they're about nine bucks, but uh, I think that's worth probably Golly, I wouldn't know what that surgery would cost over a grand. So, I guess our tip of the day is don't let your dog trip. <laughs> and please make sure that you get them toys that they will not hurt themselves with. Y'all have a good day.